We just started the new month of Cheshvan. When it was announced last week, last Shabbos, it was announced as the beginning of Mar Cheshvan, which means bitter Cheshvan. What's so bitter about Cheshvan? It's empty, it has no holidays. After a full month of Tishrei that gave us Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, Sukkot, Shemini Atzeret, and Simchas Torah, we are now on an empty page. We are in a month that doesn't have any holidays. What are we going to do with it? Many people feeling uh, they're shuled out, they're holidayed out. It's time to rest, catch their breath before it's time to get ready for Hanukkah. But is that really the best use of this month? If we take a look at the Parsha for this week, we are in Parsha Noach. Parsha Noach, which everyone knows, features the flood that Noach built the ark for, his family survived, and after the flood was over and Noach and his family leave the ark and they enter into a new world. And it wasn't a world that had been destroyed that he had to worry about cleaning up. It was a world that was ready for him to start again, but it was empty. And there wasn't so much that God told him as far as what he needed to do. So it's very instructive for us to find out what did Noah do with this empty new world? Unfortunately, we are told in the Chumash, in the Parsha this week, what he does is he plants a vineyard, he makes wine, and he gets himself very drunk. Unfortunately, that's how he chose to use this new world and this gift that he had been given. And as we sit and tisk tisk and say we would never do that if we were given the whole world, we would do something beautiful, amazing, productive, special. We're really given this Parsha during the month of Cheshvan when we have exactly the same opportunity. It's as if the Almighty is saying, I gave you a month full of holidays to inspire you, to give you thoughts and ideas and seeds to plant for the coming year. What are you going to do? Now I give you the month of Cheshvan and it's open, it's untilled land, unplanted. What are you going to plant there? Hopefully we'll take the inspiration for what not to do from Noah and instead choose to take something that we gained during the holidays. Is it something that we want to do, something that we want to refrain from doing? Do we want to take on a new mitzvah? Do we want to improve in some area of our life? Something that we can think about is the Jewish Experience will be launching Clean Speech Colorado on November 1st. And this year, the theme are words of love and kindness and chesed and loving kindness, how we use speech, not so much focusing this time on what we're not supposed to say, but how do we talk to other people in ways that inspires them, ways that comfort them, ways that build relationships and strengthen con connections that we have with one another. That would be a wonderful focus to have for this month of what are we going to plant with these seeds of kindness through our gift of speech. So whatever you decide to do, we want to make sure that we use this month, that it's not the bitter month of Cheshvan because it has no holidays, but instead the other meaning of Mar Cheshvan also means Mr. Cheshvan. Mar means Mr. and we're giving it a, a title of prominence and honor that we should take the month and turn it into something beautiful that we create. It doesn't have the script of all the holidays. Instead, it will have what we choose to write, what we choose to plant, what we choose to create. Have a beautiful Shabbos and a great month of Cheshvan.